I am a zebra. My name is Kelsey Connors. I live in New York City and I have idiopathic intracranial hypertension, also known as IIH. Intracranial, which means it's within the skull. Hypertension, which means there's high pressure in that area. And then um, it's idiopathic, which means it's of an unknown cause or origin. It's high pressure caused by excess buildup of cerebral spinal fluid for an unknown reason uh, around the brain. The main structure that sits there is the optic nerves. And so patients get swelling of the optic nerves, which can lead to serious vision problems like uh, permanent vision loss, uh, if not treated quickly. Beyond that, it causes debilitating headaches and migraines, nausea, impaired cognitive function, kind of a whole other slew of symptoms, but the disease is really not well studied or well understood compared to many other diseases, which is um, the plight of many zebra conditions. So I was really fortunate in that I was able to get diagnosed relatively quickly with this condition. Um, I went to an ophthalmologist because I'd been having um, kind of a large, dark blind spot in my vision when I bent over certain ways. Um, she noticed some swelling in at least one of my optic nerves, and that was a red flag to her and um, to me that something was seriously wrong. She advised that I needed to go see a neuro-ophthalmologist as soon as possible. That person was very difficult to get into because it's um, there aren't very many of that type of specialist. And I had to wait at least a month before I could be seen. So I ended up going to the eye and ear uh, emergency room. After a couple of weeks, I was officially diagnosed with uh, IIH. Unfortunately for many people, their symptoms are ignored. They're just told that they have headaches or migraines, and it takes months or years before they're given a proper diagnosis. These headaches that we're left over with after um, our treatment or throughout treatment or even after our optic nerves are stabilized, they're so debilitating. They really take a toll on, on everyday life and diminish quality of life. Prior to my diagnosis, I had never heard of IIH. Um, nor had anyone in my family or any of my friends. As both a patient with a rare disease and an Elsevier employee, this campaign matters to me immensely. A mixture of happy and surprise to see my own condition on the list of those that would be featured this year. It feels really good to know that Elsevier is working to raise awareness, uh, raise funding. The more research that can be poured into understanding these diseases, um, the better that patients' lives will be. To learn more, visit www.osmosis.org zebra.